Welcome to our Edmonton studios. Today we have a special guest, and that's Cheryl Shea. And she's a professional counselor here in Edmonton, and she's also the author of the book Soul Surgeon. And Cheryl, why don't you just tell us what is the book Soul Surgeon about before we get into the topic of the blog? Well, Soul Surgeon is about how God works on our hearts to change us, and he digs pretty deep. Uh, but it's the process of change and how we've been wounded and how God wants to heal us and, and how to work through that. And there's some tips in there on how to do that yourself, but also how to walk with other people in the healing journey as well. So, so basically the book is life changing. Yes. That's right. Yes. And, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to order the book. And there will be a link below this video that you can click on. But Cheryl, today in, on the blog, we want to talk about change, and you are an expert in change. But change is a, a subject that most of us hate, and we don't want to consider it, and it's a very painful topic. So tell us, how can we change? Because most of us really don't want to. Okay, well, I mean, we're sitting here in a food court, January, a lot of people have New Year's resolutions. Most people, they're gone by the first week. The reason is we try to instigate change on our own, and we really need forces outside of us, God, to instigate that. For me, that started um, in church many years ago, listening to a youth pastor, and he was talking about what youth had to go through to become healthy adults. And I was 31, I had a good job, and I realized I was emotionally 13. Wow. So I needed some help to go get some change and even know what change looked like, because I one of the most common questions counselors get asked is what is normal yeah and certainly then I didn't know what normal was so there's those outside events that happen in our lives whether that's end of a relationship job loss an illness a variety of things uh, a sermon in church something where all of a sudden you realize there's this moment where things can start to change so then we kind of move through that and we start to realize that part of why things aren't working in our life is because we're victims. Mm. So we've been hurt in our lives and it's affected us. And we don't like that word victim, but I use an analogy where here in Alberta, a couple of years ago, there was a, a wildfire in, that, that roared through the town of Slave Lake, just three hours north of Edmonton, and virtually wiped out half of the town. Well, if the people there didn't realize I'm a victim of a wildfire, they would never have done anything to rebuild. So until we realize we're victims of sexual abuse or victims of uh, emotional neglect or um, victims of fun dysfunctional families or even victims of ourselves because we have an addiction, um, we're not going to be able to change. So we start to tell our story and realize how we've been hurt and how that has affected us. And then the, the next, and I mean, they're all important parts, but I think for me and, and I've seen in others this is the biggest shift is when we start to realize that we also have hurt other people by our behaviors and we need to start to change I had lots of issues with men when I was younger and I really hated them to be quite honest <laughs> now I don't so oh, you're, that's good. you're, you're yeah. safe that's, I'm relieved. Um, yeah relieved but but that was through God helping me see that I hurt men and other people too it wasn't just a one-sided thing and that was where God really started to change my life and really heal my heart so in that process there was of course forgiveness of my dad there was forgiveness of other men that had hurt me or uh, abandoned me even just by dying when I didn't want them to die and then I had to repent and one of the things I always uh, that God's taught me over the years is we, we say as Christians, well, I repent, but we don't understand that that means we're saying, okay, God, next time I want to do something different. So we need to actually, when we say that, say, okay, God, show me what to do differently next time. What does that look like next time around? So uh, that's kind of the process of change. And I think that, uh, that change goes better when you're doing it with someone else who can hold you accountable, yes. like a counselor. Yes, Because friends, friends are never going to be blunt with you. They're, they're, un, they're less likely because they want to be nice. Yeah. And so I just found that certainly when Kathy and I went through our big marriage crisis, doing it with a counselor, it goes much faster and more complete. Exactly. And I mean, I realized too, for me, as a single woman at the time, my friends were about the same place I was. Mm -hmm. And so I needed someone that knew more than me mm -hmm. to tell me 
what to do next. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I think counselors are change agents. Now, Cheryl, tell the people how they can get in touch with you if they wanted to actually meet with you about personal change. Okay, if you want to meet with me, you can just go to my webpage, which is www.edmontoncounselingservices.com. Just remember there's two L's in counseling. And when you go there, there's a, an e, uh, email link. You can send me an email and I'll get back to you. And we'll also put a link to Edmonton Counseling Services on the just below this video and a link to The Soul Surgeon if you wanted to uh, research more about Cheryl's book. So to live a transformed life, you need to be willing and ready to change with God's help. Now, if this is your first visit, then you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form, which is always, even though we're in Edmonton, it's right there. And we, we want to hear from you now. How has God led you through major changes and what were the results? So Cheryl, thanks for being with us. You're it's welcome. It's been great having you on the blog today. We'll talk to you again next week.